Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on forming and solving a linear equation from the area of 2D shapes. So let's look at this problem here. We've got a rectangle, we've got a parallelogram. All units are in centimetres. The area of the rectangle is equal to the area of the parallelogram. Find the value of x. Well, it's talking about the area of the rectangle and it's talking about the area of the parallelogram. And then it's saying those are equal. So we just need to find the area of each one first. So the area of the rectangle, well to find the area of the rectangle, you just do length times width or width times length. So we're gonna do the six multiplied by the four X minus five. So six multiplied by four X minus five. Now you could write six times four X minus five. So like this, for example, six times four X minus five, but that's actually wrong if I write it like that because of bidmus. This by bidmus order of operations means six times four X minus five. So there's almost like a bracket around this, which is not what you want. You want six times four X minus five. So you would need a bracket around that for bidmus to be right. But remember in algebra, if you have two things next to each other, you don't need this time symbol. So I could just write six brackets, four X minus five. So that's the area of the rectangle. And we also talk about the area of the parallelogram. The area of the parallelogram is just the base times the perpendicular height, which is exactly what we've got here. So we've got four X times three, so four x times three is just 12 x, we got if, because if we have three times four x, three times four is 12, and you've also got that x. And you're told they're equal. So the area of the rectangle is equal to the area of the parallelogram. The area of the rectangle is equal to the area of the parallelogram. And now we've got a linear equation which we can solve. It's called a linear equation, by the way, because we've got like x terms and we've also got constants without the x, but you don't have any x squared or x cubed terms of, or more complicated things like that. So how do we solve this equation? Well, we could expand the brackets out first, get everything out into the open. So we can do six times the four x, which is 24 x, because six times four is 24. And you've also got that x. And they've got six times minus five, which is minus 30 and that is equal to 12x. Now, do you remember when you've got an equation where you've got x terms and constant terms without an x, you wanna get the x's on the side where you have more x's. So do we have more x's on the left-hand side, the 24x, or the right-hand side, 12x? We've got more x's on the left, so we therefore wanna get rid of the x's on the right. So to get rid of that, you can just minus 12x from both sides. So now 24x minus 12x, well 24 minus 12 is 12, so we've got 12 lots of x, we've still got that minus 30, but 12x minus 12x is just zero, anything minus itself is just zero, and now on the home straight, so uh, we want to get x on its own, it's been multiplied by 12, then you're subtracting 30 from it, we want to get rid of that last thing, the minus 30, by adding 30 to both sides, so we get 12x, the plus 30 cancels the minus 30, and zero plus 30 is 30. And then finally, if it's 12x, that means 12 lots of x, x has been multiplied by 12. We get rid of the multiplied by 12 by dividing by 12. And then we get x is equal to 30 over 12. We divide top and bottom by three, we get 10 over four. And then you can divide by two to get five over two or 2.5. So x we found out in this diagram is 2.5 or five over two. And it says all the units in centimeters, so really we should put X centimeters, 2.5 centimeters.